Welcome back to Nicole's Nutrition Corner. It is 6.15 in the morning and I'm heading to the airport. I'm flying back to Toronto today and then going to a cottage for a week. So I thought I would film what I eat today and show you guys. So because it was early this morning, I didn't eat anything except for two leftover sushi rolls. And then when I get to the airport, I'll get a coffee and probably something from Starbucks. And then they're not serving food on plane still, so I'll probably grab like a sandwich or something really easy. I don't love to eat a lot when I'm on the plane because I think sometimes it just makes me feel a little gross. So I just will eat more when I get home. So I always fill up a water bottle like halfway through depending on how big it is. And I drink it in the car on the way there so that I make sure I am a little bit hydrated before I hop on the plane. And then I fill it up when I get to the airport so that I'm not buying plastic water bottle. I'm going to finish up half of this water bottle to hydrate myself before and yep. This is my chauffeur Nick. He can't come to the cottage. Boo! Hey guys, I made it. I'm just in the car right now. Um, the flight was four and a half hours, super smooth, really easy. I ate some veggies, which I showed you before on the flight. So right now I am in Toronto. We're gonna go to Moxie's. I'm gonna go with my parents and I'll video what I'm eating. It's definitely gonna be a bigger meal because I'm so hungry, um, but I'm really excited and I'll take you along with me. All right, and I am finally home. It was a little bit of a long day. We went out for a lunch slash dinner and it was super amazing. I had a little bit of the guac and then it was like a whipped feta thing. It was amazing. I definitely need to try and recreate that because it was so good. And then I had a couple crispy tofu lettuce wraps. Yes, that's what it was. And those are super yummy. And now, honestly, I'm just so tired. Like last night, I didn't sleep. The best so i'm probably going to chill for a bit make a tea and then go to bed really early and then get adjusted to toronto time and then tomorrow morning we head out to the cottage which will be so 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 much fun so when i am on a flight like this that's four and a half five hours i do this flight a lot i do it probably like six to eight times a year depending on how often i fly home but i always try to eat something before the flight whether that's at home depending on how early the flight is or at the airport before i go and then i'll eat like something like fresh on the flight something just light and snacky just to keep me like a little bit satisfied if it was a longer flight i definitely would though um just because i generally eat every three to four hours so this is like kind of on the borderline but yeah if it was a longer flight i would for sure eat on the flight and then normally i just have like a bigger dinner slash lunch when i get back um i'll probably have maybe a little bit of a snack depending on the day today i probably won't because i'm super full and then that's it so my biggest tip to you guys is to stay hydrated throughout the whole flight planes just generally dehydrate you and your skin and all that so my tips for that is to drink some water before you get to the airport once you get to the airport fill up your water bottle once you pass through security and then on the plane drink your full water bottle and then also you know when they come around and they ask you what you want to drink get water every time and drink that and that will make sure you stay super hydrated throughout your whole flight snacks to snack on so that you don't upset your stomach if it's a longer flight make sure you have a healthy balanced meal oh look it's my friend hi say hi so drink lots of water, eat a meal if your flight's long, and then afterwards fuel yourself with some yummy yummy food, and then get lots of rest, and then you'll be good to go. I know travel days are super weird. Um, it's just not like a normal day of eating, and I don't think it is for anybody. It's just up to you to listen to your body and do what you think is best for you. So there you have it, guys. I'm gonna chill with my cat now. Don't show them your butt. 
Oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> I just hit her in the face. <laughs> Say bye.